Pete. I didn't think it get worse. There's a shark. Hey. Say what you will, but yes, that is indeed a shark. No, not one of those sharks. One of these sharks. You know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's rewind this back a couple days. Ah, UC Santa Barbara. Top 10 party school in the nation, top six public school in the nation, and very conveniently for this video, located on the beach. Being so close to the ocean, there's plenty of recreational water activities to choose from. Surfing, paddle boarding, and a local favorite, floating. Floating! All right, I'll make this quick. People love challenge videos. More specifically than that, people love 24 hour challenge videos. Combining the two, I had a great idea for a YouTube video, which brings me to my point. Here is my house. Here is the ocean. I'm going to get a float, go in the ocean, then proceed to stay on that float for 24 hours. That's insane. Are you really gonna do that? I mean, like, yeah, yeah that's the plan. Okay, I guess. <laughs> 24 hours is a really long time. Like, I don't know if you know what you're, what you're like signing up for. <laughs> Have you told your mom about this? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's keep it that way. <laughs> she does not want to know. All right, Just Ice brings up a pretty good point. I haven't told my mom about this. Matter of fact, I haven't even really thought this thing through. If I actually wanted to spend 24 hours on a float without like dying or some sh I was gonna have to sit down and plan this out because there's a lot of room for air. This man is going out in the middle of the ocean for 24 hours in two days. And you don't even have a wrap. Bro, I'll get a wrap. Chill. You think Big Five has floats? <laughs> I feel like Big Five would have floats. Yeah. Is this a float, technically? It's a boat. I feel like it's, it's a float. It's, it's a, float. a float. It's a float. How are we gonna blow this up? <sighs> You're actually making like progress. Gavin. Hey, anything is possible. Anything is possible. You also need a life jacket, okay? So when I look out this window tomorrow, and I see you out on the raft, you better have a life jacket. Yeah, you better have a life jacket. Yeah. We pulled to the surf shop, trying to find a life vest. They're dummy clothes, so we got to Amazon it. Boom. Okay, Mr. Know-it-all, how are you going to stay out in the ocean? Ty's going to be pushing you in. Okay, you know, I didn't, I didn't think about that. Big, big surprise. You, you, okay, hold on, hold on. I can't just, like, buy an anchor, bro. Like, you, they don't just sell anchors, like. Okay, cinder block, wrap a rope around it, dump it off. Where are we just gonna find a cinder block? Gavin, it's your video. You tell me, where are you gonna find a cinder block? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they'd be in like a Pokemon, you know, like. Bruh, bruh! What? Bruh. You think they'll care if we just borrow it? <laughs> Bro, it looks so funny. Bruh, they're so heavy. Well, let's get the f out of here. <laughs> And to top it all off, I bought a GoPro to document my time at sea for $517. But at last, I was ready to spend 24 hours on a float. The sun is just starting to come up. It's cold. It, it's so cold. David. <laughs> just ice, bro. How'd you sleep? So bad. It's so early. Bro, what if we just take like a quick nap? Nah, bro. The sun is up. We gotta get out there, bro. You no, know, nobody is out here. Nobody on all eyes of this is awake right now. You excited? Bro, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Such a bad idea, bro. I right, got that control tower up there. Got the man himself. There is nobody out here. This man's insane. Calm check. Calm check. Calm check. Control tower checking in. Over. Yes, sir. Over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, we'll see y'all at 7. Peace, good luck, dude. Oh, that's cold as <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty far out. I think I'm gonna drop the anchor. Over. Alright, alright. Alright, let's drop this anchor. All right, we are uh, one hour in. You know, just gotta do this 23 more times. Morale's high, sun's coming out. We're off to a good start. Hey, Just Ice, you know where I'm trying to go after this? Where? Yo mama house! <laughs> All right, man, hour two. Hour two. That's, I'm like one twelfth of the way there. It's like hour three, and I did not anticipate all this fog, bro. I. 
feel like. You know when Thanos sacrifices Gamora and he like goes to get the Soul Stone and it's like the lake and it's just like super far. Like, bro, that's how I feel right now. Like, <laughs> yo, this is crazy. I just took a nap. It's like noon. So that's, yeah, hour five. Ugh. Hour five. Hi, Luke's in the building. What's up, bro? What's up, How you doing, going? bro? What's up, man? Hey, is you bones out there right now? Yeah, you trying to talk to him? Yeah, bro, you got service or something? No, nah, we got walkie talkies, dude. Oh, sh really? Yo, g -Bong. What do you think? <laughs> Hey, how's it going out there, bro? You good? Yo, bro. I'm trying to make this trade, bro. Let's talk this trade. Luis, I'm in the middle of the ocean right now, and you're telling me you want to talk a fantasy football trade? Yes. <laughs> Luis, who you got for me? All right, did you see the trade I made last night? Luis, what was the trade you made last night? I did not see it. I traded Austin Eckler. <laughs> I traded Tyler Lockett, Tyler Higby, for Kenyon Drake, DJ Moore, and AJ Brown. Yo, G-Palms. G-Palms. What's up? What do you want from the grocery store? Grocery store? Yeah, what do you want? That can be arranged. Hello, friends. Hey. What's up? Boink. Uh, I believe in you. <laughs> you believe in me? What's up? Well, thanks for coming out, guys. This hey. is this is great. What's up, bro? Subscribe. Yeah. Oh God. Is that David swimming out? Does he have a backpack? David. How's it going? What's up, bro? What's in the bag? We got Lay's potato chips. Okay. We got sour gummy worms. Okay. We got chapstick. Yeah. We got a portable charger. Okay. And we got a... The whole back of it. Sunscreen. <laughs> All right, check me out. Up until this point, I've been smooth sailing through this challenge. Hour six, hour seven, hour eight, easy. But then things started taking a turn for the worse. All these hours built up quite an appetite, so I asked Justice if he could get me some in and out to which he replied. Yeah, how am I gonna get it to you though? I mean, there's one thing we could do. There was one thing we could do. The day prior, I took a bag and attached it to my drone with a fishing line. Since I wouldn't be able to fly the drone day of the challenge, I spent 10 minutes giving Just Ice a comprehensive tutorial and even did a trial run to see if the drone could carry cargo. That didn't work. So we took some weight out of the bag and lo and behold. <laughs> hey, you know what this is? You know what this is? Lunch. Proof of concept. Fast forward to the day of. Justice and David were preparing the delivery when something interesting happened. You guys know the neighbors, like the neighbors, like the neighbors. They came and visited me while I'm on my float challenge. <laughs> and even just that, they brought me a claw. Like, that's just so nice. And man, when I tell y'all that claw was nice, woo! But you know what wasn't nice? What happened next? The drone was in the air and on its way. Everything was going as planned, or so I thought. Now, I don't know the exact reason, but I think the cargo load was too heavy and made the drone enter its auto landing sequence. But the drone was over water. It didn't auto land. It auto sunk. I jumped out of my float and tried to make my way over there, but it was too late. It's okay. Put it in like, rice. <laughs> Put it in rice. <laughs> And the worst part, my in and out went with it. It was getting dark, the neighbors left, I was wet, cold, and hungry, but no matter how bad my situation was, I wasn't planning on quitting anytime soon until this happened. I'm not even gonna cap, I didn't think it would get worse. There's a f***ing shark. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's, I am so out, bruh. My drone's dead, my food's soggy, and there's a f***ing shark. I am so out of here, bruh. I am f***ing dipping, bruh. 
this. I didn't know this, but apparently sharks hunt at night. It wasn't even fully night yet, and I already saw one. You know that shark has friends, cousins, uncles that are just waking up, all coming for my dumb ass. Ooh. It's not even about a shark biting me. If a shark bites the float, that thing is deflating, and you're gonna see me in the water fighting for my life like I'm R. Kelly. I'm fighting for my life and the audacity of my housemates. This man, Just Ice, really wanted me to stay out there. Just stay right there. I promise I will spend the night at the beach with you we'll right hot here. hot cocoa, bro. What? Hot cocoa? Hot cocoa? Hot cocoa? I just spent 12 hours on a float in the middle of the ocean. You think hot cocoa is gonna fix this? <laughs> <laughs> 12 hours, boy. Uh, 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 24 hours on a float. We're like 12 hours on a float. One lost drone, one spotted shark, raft. one soggy in and out burger, the one deflated is... raft, but one solid video. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one. Please subscribe. G Pumps, <laughs> signing out.